aliens are attacking Lila's house. They want her dog. But her dog is really an alien. And Cobra Bubbles just told her not to hang up. And she did. Anyway. So, I want to do another video today about losing people. Oh! Okay, if you guys watched the last video, here. Yeah, I found it, but it was the one that I ripped out the pages. But, anyway. So, today I want to talk about losing somebody. If you've lost someone in your life, you know how much it hurts. So, I know how much it hurts. When I was five, my brother died. When I was 11, my mom died. When I was 12, my best friend died. When I was 13, my grandma died. And when I was 14, two of my pets died. Kinda sucked. And then in high school, two of my friends, well, they weren't really friends, but we talked a lot. Not a lot, but we talked. They were in my classes. They died in a car accident. Um, it hurts losing somebody. And if you have lost someone close to you, you know that. And losing a parent is really, really, really hard. Especially when... You're a girl and you lose your mom when you're 11. I know that there's a worse age to lose it, like when you're younger, but I mean, when you're 11, you're right at the start of almost going into puberty. You're going into middle school, girls are starting to wear makeup and all that jazz, as people say. But I didn't have that because my mom died. So people made. Hold on. So people may find me because I wouldn't do girly stuff, but I didn't know how because I didn't have a mom to teach me. So I still, it's been almost 12 years, it'll be 12 years this August. Ironically, last August 13th, my mom died August 13th, I think. Yeah, August 13th. And ironically, last year on August 13th, I got to meet my hero Miranda Lambert and I don't feel like getting the picture up and I said in my last video I'd show pictures but I didn't feel like showing them up so I will do that right now I don't feel like getting the third one if you want to see the third one go to my Facebook and I will post the links again but anyway this was August 13th last year There we go, August 13th last year. It was really amazing. I was so nervous to talk to her and I told her that it was the anniversary of my mom's death and that meeting her was really helpful because it was taking my mind off it. This is the first time I met her on the bottom. I'm soaking wet because it was downpouring the entire freaking concert. But then I met her in February, but the pitch is really high up, so. That one below the cross, but I don't feel like getting up, so that's the best you guys are going to get. Um, it's on my Tumblr. You guys can see it on my Tumblr. Okay, I'm sorry. People are saying that my last video was way too long, that no one will watch the full thing. But if someone actually does want to get help, they will watch the whole thing. 
It's not crazy. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get the picture back on my wall. There we go. Okay. So, anyway, about back to the law. So, after Miranda's concert that day of my mom's anniversary of her death, it was such a great concert and it got my mind off it, but my uncle was in the hospital getting surgery that day and it was just a really stressful day because that was my mom's brother and the fact that he was in the hospital on the exact day she died, it was really scary. But meeting Miranda and going to her concert just got my mind off of everything and then when I got home I just lost it. I broke down crying because I felt like it was unfair of me to be having fun while on such a sad day. But the year, two years ago I think, I think it was 2009, it was either 2009 or 2010, my brother got married on the day after my mom died and I remember the wedding rehearsal was on the night that she died and I thought this is ridiculous how am I supposed to pretend to be happy for my brother when this is a day that I'm always really sad in 2007 I actually was in the emergency room on the day my mom died because I was dehydrated and I was having problems at college with my health and I was in the emergency room from 6 o'clock at night to 1 o'clock in the morning on an IV and we didn't have a ride back because our roommate, my roommate took me with my other roommate and we couldn't find where she freaking parked so we had to call our shuttle and the person was already done for the night. She gets done around 10 o'clock I think but she came and get, got us anyway so that was nice of her. But um, yeah losing a parent Losing anyone really sucks, but losing a parent's really hard, especially if you're close with that parent. My mom and I were best friends. I didn't really have a fight with her because I was so young. I was only 11. You don't fight with your parents when you're 11, except when they tell you to clean your room and you don't want to, but um, I didn't, I don't know, but... I thought I'd make this video because I know that some people don't cope well with losing someone. I want you to know that it's okay to cry. I finally learned that because for the longest time I wouldn't cry. The first time I actually really cried about my mom was Mother's Day in ninth grade. Or maybe it was 10th grade, I don't remember. And I was crying because everyone was talking about what they were getting their moms. And then I started crying. And I remember one girl saying, Oh, there she goes crying again because her mom's dead. Yeah. And I know who that person was because she was my friend. She's not anymore. And no one came out to check on me when I was crying. If someone is crying because of a death, you go check on them. You don't ignore it because you don't know what they could do. Like, if I was in school and this happened, like, and it was, like, with friends at my house, I probably would have cut, to be perfectly honest. So, before you start making fun of someone for crying, make sure that they're not just crying for attention. Make sure, like, that they're, like, make sure that they're not, I don't know how to word this. Make sure that they're not crying because they're actually sad before you make fun of them. Like, if they're crying for attention, just to be like, oh, my, my life sucks. Then, yeah, you can kind of laugh at that because that's just immature. But if the person's actually crying for a legitimate reason, then you need to accept that. Because... Like, people made fun of me for crying in school about my mom. Like, I couldn't help it. My mom was dead, and I had bottled it up for so long. I bottled up everything for the longest time, and that's why I turned to cut it. Sorry. And, like, it hurt, and then... 
teachers would be talking about Mother's Day, and this one teacher looked ex right at me and said, you guys make sure you get your mother something special for Mother's Day, and she was staring right at me. And this girl that I'm not friends with anymore stood up for me, and then my other friend that I don't really talk to anymore did too, and they're like, she doesn't have a mom, and you should not be looking at her when she says that. And then I got really embarrassed, because, you know, it's embarrassing when people do that, but... Hold on. I am again. But, yeah. So, one of my friends lost her grandfather recently. Well, not really recently, but, like, a couple years ago. And we got in a huge fight about it, because she was suffering. She was hurting, and I told her, I know how you feel, and she said that I don't because my mom's death didn't matter because she was just my adoptive mom, but adoptive mom or not, she's the one that raised me, so I did know, but me and her are friends again, we've made up, and she's grown up a lot since then, and matured, and realized that what she said was wrong. And now we hang out more, and it's good to have that, because sometimes friendships end for a little bit, but then you realize that that friend was a good person, and that you need them in your life. Like, I have this one friend, we've been friends for almost nine years, and we got in a huge fight, and we didn't talk for like a year and a half, and it was really bad. It was a really bad fight, like I, that's when I started cutting, and I had cut both arms from here to here 42 times on each arm. Now I don't cut this arm anymore when I am cutting. It's mostly just this arm. Unless I know that's going to be hot out then I'll cut like on my legs because I always wear long pants. But I try not to cut. I haven't done it in a while and I'm proud of myself. But like I said the other night, I kind of had a slip up. I'm not going to say where I did cut because I'm not going to show you guys. But people get mad. People used to get mad at me when I'd slip up, but then they realized that it's a health thing and I can't help it. And sometimes you find out that you're not cutting because you just want to escape pain. You find out that it's a natural medical reason. And I found out mine. I have depression. So, I think it's because I've lost so much in my life. When I was in ninth grade, my therapist told me I had been through more in my lifetime than she had seen in most adults. So, when I'm depressed, I'm supposed to take these every night, but I really don't. And everyone's like, they don't work unless you take them every night. But I'm one of those people that if I'm taking medicine... Mentally, I think it is working, so I just take it when I'm sad, but I'm not going to show you guys my last name, but it's called, here's what I take. Hold on, I'm going to try to get it so you guys can... Oh, well, you guys saw my last name. It's Strandberg, and you guys are going to see it if you have my Facebook, but, yeah. Um, so I take one at bedtime. It's supposed to help me sleep, which I probably should take them because I never fall asleep. I have yet to go to bed. I did not go to sleep last night, and I got my road test, and I passed, but he didn't want to pass me because I didn't pay attention to him well enough or whatever, but... I passed, that's the important thing, and, um, yeah, but the problem is, because of those two people I lost in a car accident, and I had another friend in Florida get, she wasn't really my friend, but she was a friend of a friend, and we talked a lot through my space, and she was a really nice girl, she was killed by a drunk driver. So it scared me from driving because drunk drivers never are the ones to die.
it's always the person they hit or the passenger in their car that gets killed. And it just scared me out of driving for a while. I'm 23 years old and I just got my license, but it happens. Anyway, I didn't want to make this a long video, but if you ever lost someone, I was on the subway and there's this helpline you can call if you're worried about losing someone else. I don't remember the number, but let me try to find it. I think I remember it. Oh yeah, it's called bostongrief.com. So if you live in the Bostonish area, it's one eight six six four four worry, which would be one eight six six four four nine six seven seven nine. So one eight six six four four nine six seven seven nine and I haven't called it yet but I'm sure it helps so yeah if you guys need help then try that number I'm sure you can call from anywhere and it will work but Sorry, I'm sending it to a friend because she's having some problems with family hospitalizations and stuff. And my other friend just lost her grandfather and her mom or whatever. And my other friend lost both her parents, so she knows how it feels to lose someone really bad. But People don't seem to get that talking about it does help. You can shut people out, but you can only shut people out for so long. I mean, I push people away all the time. And it's really a bad habit because I almost lost friends that way. I have lost friends by pushing them away. But I don't want to make this a long video. It's already almost at 20 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. And tomorrow after work, I might do another one. I hate my job, though, so I probably won't. I might make one on Sunday though. So until then, remember, I care. I'm here. You can add me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, even AIM if you have it, but most people don't. I will put links below. I will also put the link to the Boston Grease below. And enjoy the rest of your night.